Developing now, the man who prosecuted Jody Arias is accused of engaging in improper sexual relationships with two trial bloggers, revealing the identity of a juror and also providing false statements during a bar investigation. A formal complaint could be filed against Juan Martinez within the next two months, and that could lead to a hearing and possible discipline. Meanwhile, in a 12 News I-Team investigation, Bianca Bono is uncovering never before heard details about the convicted killer. More than 100 pages documenting Jody Arias' life behind bars. The 38-year-old in custody since the start of her murder trial, moving to the Perryville prison in Goodyear after she was found guilty of brutally murdering Travis Alexander. Jody Arias spends her days and nights confined to an 86 square foot cell at the Perryville prison in Goodyear, serving life in prison for killing her boyfriend, Travis Alexander. The story made international headlines, the world privy to every detail. But since being moved to prison, very little is known about her life until now. Jody Arias's inmate file released to 12 News by the Arizona Department of Corrections, shedding some light on Arias's life in custody, documenting threats to her life, disciplinary issues, and who is still communicating with the killer. On May 13, 2015, while conducting a mail scan, a corrections official finding a letter written to Arias indicating potential trouble, stating, no cause for alarm as of yet, but you do need a heads up. The person goes on to write that someone whose name has been redacted and a female accomplice have stated that they are going to put funds on the books of some inmate there so that the inmate can do harm to you. A year later, another report. Arias telling an officer during recreation time, an inmate began yelling at her, I'm going to kill you the same way you killed the name redacted, but the person referring to Travis Alexander. Arias saying the harassment is getting worse by the day, asking for her recreation time to get moved to avoid the harassment. In her file, Arias has one disciplinary infraction for disrespecting staff. The report saying in February of 2016, Arias became upset when she was denied a haircut by a particular barber she requested, calling the corrections official who said no an offensive term. The documents also shedding light on the way Jody Arias continues to communicate with the world outside of prison. According to one report, prison officials saying during one of her allowed phone calls, she requested a friend put out a tweet saying that she had no hot water for several days. Arias' Twitter account still active today, being run by someone outside of prison. Some of the latest updates, Arias received a flu shot, a link to a GoFundMe page for legal bills claiming the money will go toward prosecuting Arias's prosecutor, Juan Martinez, and a tweet featuring Arias's prison address, where dozens of followers claim to have sent her letters. And we also obtained a copy of Arias's updated visitors list. On it, several family members and Mark McGee, who claimed to be a friend of Travis Alexander during the trial.